Welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday too? Yeah, when the lights went out, there I was cooking dinner. Up. Got a corpo in dire need. Our boy, he got sick and ended up in a wheelchair. Now he's reaching for his boss's fat wallet. Now that I can get down with. But what do you say? Not about to leave him hanging, are we? Deeds attached. Back, back, down! 
pressurized system back. Freak sporting military great ice. Meaning that our tech is it. Get to it! What in the fuck? There's one thing I'll never get about the Corpo Psyche. They got it all. Power, prestige, Scrooge levels of eddies, 
and they still act like complete gonks. Take my client, for instance. Some hotshot from Kang Tao went and got wasted in Arroyo. Then, well, Arroyo wasted him back. He's alive, but lost something valuable, whatever that means to these people. I need to find it before his overlords catch wind of it. Get to work. Details attached. There's one thing I'll never get about the Corpo Psyche. They got it all. Power, prestige, Scrooge levels of eddies, and they still act like complete gonks. Take my client, for instance. Some hotshot from Kang Tao went and got wasted in Arroyo. Then, well, Arroyo wasted him back. He's alive, but lost something valuable, whatever that means to these people. I need to find it before his overlords catch wind of it. Get to work. Details attached. Oh, 
Sure discharge. I'm sorry. This never happened. One thing I'll never get about the Corpo Psyche. They got it all. Power, prestige, Scrooge levels of eddies, and they still act like complete gonks. Take my client, for instance. Some hotshot from Kang Tao went and got wasted in Arroyo. Then, well, Arroyo wasted him back. He's alive, but lost something valuable, whatever that means to these people. I need to find it before his overlords catch wind of it. Get to work. Details attached.
Captain May! Give me a sec! Stop. Got the data. What now? Good. Very good. We should meet as soon as possible. There's a place I know where... Hold on. Sending you the coordinates. See you soon, then. Don't wait. Hurry. You're here. Eddie's Carl. Right, right. Here. What is it? Damn it! We were this fucking close! No! Fuck! Please! No! How do you do, Carl? We almost fucking had it. The hell is this? Scan him. No vitals. Command, we can confirm. Carl Ginsky has been neutralized for illegal possession of company data. What about him, Chief? You? Pack it up. This doesn't concern you. How'd you find him? Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I'll say it slowly. Get. The. Fuck. Out. Data you wanted? You'll want to thank me for that. And nothing says thank you like my fair share of eddies. <laughs> the data we wanted. You hear that? He thinks all this was for the data. Ah, uh, you really made my day. You deserve a little just for that. Yao, toss the Mercus candy. Fuck you and your corpo dealings. And still it speaks. Shame its message isn't getting across. Go fuck yourselves. So long. Drop your weapon! Don't we KIA! Why can't the fuck? Target hit!
error. Premature discharge. I'll kill you! This never happens. Fun ah. fact. The human body holds between five and seven liters of blood. Reloading weapon! Don't break ranks! Things kind of took a shitty turn at the end there, huh? It's okay. Shake it off this time. Can't predict the future, right? Happens to the best. Contract closed. Good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Cause I got plenty to lose. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? 
your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Get in touch with the administration in the North Oak Collins area. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda, you... Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said, they returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. It could sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? G.G. Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a Night City name. Beware. You mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? I'm just asking. Is everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? 
I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Shake a night, city. Your man stand. Understanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happy to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, oai dekite kohei des. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? 
You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame. I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe, B. B, what's shaking? Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. It'd be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. I've not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah! Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos, won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you.
Did El Capitan send you? Yeah, I'm V. One moment, please. Sorry, be right with you. Hell of a beast you got there. Huh, what? That Kandachi Micro 76, strapped with dedicated cooling. Oh, yeah, plus an additional processor and modified system bus. See you hijack the motel's cams. Hell, probably the whole system, right? Yes, mm-hmm. Okay, I don't think you were followed. Ah, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Pedro. You can still back out, you know. Look, you're shaking like a loose exhaust pipe. Maybe this ain't the job for you. No, I've got it all planned out already. El Cap tells me you're running a jump. Could use some help. Mm-hmm. I'd like to, uh, borrow a company truck. <laughs> you want to rob your employer? Well, yes, but not so loud, please. This is your first time, right? A jump like this. <laughs> Perfect. But I'm well prepared. This is an act of war against a megacorp. You prepared to deal with the blowback? <laughs> they won't let this go. I know. Okay then, what's your plan? Right, the plan. Uh, here's what I have so far. Our target is an automated ZetaTech transport hauling AV thrusters. Its route changes daily via a randomizer. So how do we track it? I refactored the randomizer. I know how it'll work. Sure, so you can predict its path. Then what? I'll stop the truck first, then breach its system. Where do I come in? You'll be there waiting already. You'll hop in and follow my instructions to steal it. What do you need these glow holes for anyway? They're not too big, easy to sell, and well, worth hundreds of thousands. A drop in the bucket for the higher-ups, but for me, it'll change my life. What's on it? Chinese icebreaker. Should punch a hole in Zeta Tech security. Can't hack our... their... truck without it. Where should I wait for the truck? Place called Kenmore Cafe, up front. The truck should drive by around 5 p.m. every day for the next few days. I'll call once you're there. Run through it again. Pedro, let me be real for a sec. You're clearly not the rebel type. Why do this? I'd rather not talk about it. Spit it out, Pedro. I don't like unknowns. I have ALS. What's that got to do with robbing a truck? If I'm gonna get out of this body, I need the money. Come again? Mm-hmm. A full body conversion. I've been talking to a ripper out in Abakan, Siberia. Dr. Fedorov. He said he could do it. And for a lot cheaper than in Night City or Tokyo. Okay, count me in. Be in touch soon. Thanks. Remember, intersection just before Kenmore's Cafe. Five sharp. Be there.
It's me. I know. Okay. Eyes on that intersection. Go! To the truck, now! I'm in. Slot the splinter to the right of the wheel. Done. God damn it. Talk to me, Pedro. One sec. One sec. Cut! I have control. I'll drive. So I just kick back, soak in the view? Eyes open. Cocksuckers could show up any minute. If I were you, I'd disappear for a few days. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Head straight, eyes up. You hear? Yes, absolutely. Again, thank you. The longer we chit-chat, the easier it is for Zeta Tech to track us. Again. Of, of course. Over and out. Yeah, see ya. Beautifully done, V. Don't know about Pedro, but I consider you my hero already. CV, play your cards right, you'll always walk away with full pockets. Closing the gig.
Wait, where's Brendan? They just came and took him just like that. They said they, said they had to reevaluate part of his code. I tried stopping them, told him he was my best friend. They looked at me like I was crazy. If they just talked to him, they'd have realized Brendan isn't your typical schism. I knew it couldn't have just been me. He's like, he's like a real person. They took him to a maintenance point. One of them must have felt sorry for me or something. He gave me his card. Bring him back, please. I, I can't do this without him. Somebody pinch me. How can I help ya? Your place. What is it exactly? Welcome to your local soft sis service point. Give new life to old tech. You fix equipment. Seriously. People actually do that instead of buying new? With the amount of customers we get, find myself asking the same question day after day. Here to see Brendan. Guess somebody brought him here. Uh, what Brendan's that again? Seriously? When your energy's low, grab a drink to go, 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 or however it is. Ah, that schism they brought in. <laughs> he really does have some of the catchiest slogans, don't he? <laughs> but hey, look, I, I can't let you back there. Can't afford to have to break something even worse. Maybe if you Eddie to loosen the lock on that door. Hmm. Well, I'm always happy to have paying customers. All right, head on back. Update's nearly done. Uh, he's getting updated? Well, I'll be darned. What a pleasant surprise. You came to say your final goodbyes? What do you mean? You're not getting scrapped, are you? You were making bank. Thanks for the compliment, but I guess that's the problem. Seems like I was unfair competition in the SC. They're updating my system as we speak to make me sound less like a real person. My boss really didn't like that. I reportedly creeped customers out. <sighs> Stupid Brendan. Why did I say stuff they didn't want to hear about themselves? If somebody wants a therapy session, they go to a psych doc. Not a soda machine. I suspected as much. You're not actually an AI, are you? At least not anywhere close to an AGI. The processing power required to handle an AI with the capacity for free will? Well, your processor just isn't big enough. And you'd be correct. Say... You must be a pretty good techie. Your code monkey deserves a prize. Best convo emulating algorithm I've ever interacted with. <laughs> Almost had me fooled. You seem slightly disillusioned. Well, who else could say their friend was a schism? It was almost crazy enough to be beautiful. Looks like the update'll soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be sad, didn't you? As if I really was a sentient being. A real person? I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? Ha! 
So, how about it? You know what? Go for it. I could learn to laugh like that, too. Don't get all mushy on me now, V. You... You have to... To keep living. Tell Theo... Tell Theo that she's stronger... Than she thinks. Don't worry, Brendan. I'll tell her. Hey, V. Where was Johnny Silverhand when the... When the bomb at Arasaka Tower went off? I don't know where. All over the place. Literally. Software update installed successfully. Goodbye, Brendan. I'll miss you. Did you find him? Where is he? Is he coming back? I, uh, found him. He told me to tell you that you're strong inside. Always were. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, right? I'm just worrying for nothing, aren't I? Just blowing things out of proportion, assuming the worst. Typical. I got there too late. They updated his system. Is that... bad news? Brennan you knew was gone. They replaced him with some generic AI that's gonna be in every schism. He told me to tell you that he'll miss you. Fuck! Oh. I mean, thanks. Damn it. This stupid robot was the best thing to happen to me in months. You know? Brendan got me out of a really dark place. Doesn't matter who or what he really was. I'm gonna miss him too. <laughs>